concrete pumping has changed considerably over the last few years. At Meals Concrete Pumping, more planning and thought is given to worker and public safety. Meals Concrete Pumping carefully consider our impact on the environment by preventing pollution and controlling waste management and recycling of the byproducts. Every 80 lineal metres of pipe has one cubic metre of concrete. The average size building will have two to four metres of concrete left in the line at the end of the pour. The most common way that this was disposed of was to blow it with air into an agitator or bin. This had a history of many serious accidents and near misses, not to mention 2,000 to 4,000 litres of waste for every concrete pour. When air is pushing the concrete out of the line, the gas becomes compressed and the two to 4,000 litres of air can discharge from the line if the blowout procedure was not carefully governed. Meals Concrete Pumping have been the market leaders in developing procedures to solve these issues. We have set a benchmark by pushing the remaining concrete with water into the concrete pour resulting in very little waste concrete and the water is then recycled for reuse. Water is not compressible so when water is pushing the concrete out of the line it does not have the explosive capabilities that air has. Equipment manufacturers recommend the use of water in line in excess of 100 metres. At Meals Concrete Pumping, we believe that this is the right direction to take. We will now describe the procedure for water washout. The concrete pumping has now been completed there is still about 1.5 metres of concrete in the line in this video. The pump operator removes the pipes from the back of the pump. We will now clean out the concrete that is held in the hopper. The operator is using a bar to pull the concrete from inside the housing. No hands should be put inside the unit whilst the pump is activated. We use cement bags to make paper plugs to seal the water from the concrete that is in the line. These bags are soaked in water and made into cylindrical plugs as shown. These plugs are inserted into a one metre long pipe before we go for water washout. Recycled, high pressure water is now being used to clean out the hopper. You will notice that as the tray is removed from the pump that it has about 200 litres of hopper and water waste. The pipe that has preloaded paper plugs is now fitted to the line. The next item that is fitted is a high pressure valve to return the recycled water. This is in the closed position. We are now fitting a high pressure one way valve in the line. We use a high pressure hose to go from the concrete pump to the one way valve.
note that the clamps are now R-clipped. It is important that a good communication system is in use between the boom and pump operator. The hopper can now be filled from the recycling holding tank. You will notice that the water is clean. The concrete pump actually becomes a very large high pressure water pump. The pipeline and boom are now having the concrete pushed forward. The concrete is directed into the pour to minimise waste. Now that there is about 0.2 of a cubic metre left in the line, the boom is swung around to a waste bin. The bin is lined with plastic and the pump keeps on discharging into the bin. Once the bags are pushed into the bin, about two stages of water siphon into the bin. We can now commence to blow back the water by air using a pig. Because the one-way and release valve is still connected, when the pig reaches the one-way valve it stops and all the water is recirculated. Air is let out of the line and the pig is recovered. The water is now diverted from the release valve through to a drainage line that goes to a quad interceptor tank system. Please note that the excess water that is shown is only because the operator has the release valve fully open. If it was at half throttle, the volume of water would be less. The pipe from the drain now leads to the interceptor tanks. In the last tank we have a submersible pump that returns the filtered water back to the holding tank.